Kim Porter, who is best known for her tumultuous relationship with the iconic singer Sean Diddy Combs, passed away in 2018 after developing a lung infection. Or so they say. What's happening there guys, and welcome back to our channel. Kim Porter's boyfriend exposes Diddy for covering up death? Let's take a look and find out. Number 5. Was Kim Porter's death a murder? In a video which has since been deleted and was posted back in July of 2020, the singer and songwriter Al B put out a video of him practically out of nowhere in which he said that his ex-girlfriend Kim Porter didn't just suddenly drop dead from low bar pneumonia as most people seem to believe. In the video, Al B expressed his disbelief in the narrative that Kim died from natural causes and that there was no one's hand behind her death. Apparently, this all happened after Albie came across a video regarding news of her passing. I just found this footage from the morning. I learned that Lady KP, also known as Kim Porter's murder, and how it ripped my soul from my physical body, Al wrote as a caption to his Instagram post in which he was literally bawling while a gloomy R&B song played in the background. Yeah. Number 4. Why does Al think what he does? Apparently, the reason why Al B thinks Kim Porter was murdered arose after he, in his own words, explained that when he was on his way to film the pre-show packages for the Soul Train Award on BET with Trisha Campbell and Tashina Arnold, he received a call from a PR icon and a celebrity talent producer by the name of Queenie Donaldson who asked Al B if he was okay, after which he told him the news. I know very clearly that Kimberly didn't just check out all of a sudden over pneumonia. That's BS, Al said. This is where I get in trouble. To some people, this may all seem like nothing more than the tragic ramblings of a man who couldn't get over the death of the woman he once loved. However, to some, what Al B is saying is true. While it's true that there will always be people who will believe in the most outlandish things just for the sake of standing out, the support with Al B seems way too strong for it to be just dismissed as him being supported by some loonies with nothing better to do. Number 3. Where does Diddy fit in all of this? Al B is the one who insinuated about Diddy having a hand in Kim's death. He added atop of everything else he said at that point that he and Kim attended an event for their son Quincy Brown's Netflix film during which Kim's health was totally fine. Therefore, in his view, the story about her dying from pneumonia was made up. Diddy, on the other hand, revealed in an interview in 2019 that Kim has always been sickly and that she started feeling more sick than usual just a few days before she passed away. She had the flu and she sent the kids over to my house so they wouldn't get sick, Diddy stated. One night I was checking on her and she was like, Puffy, take care of my babies. She actually said that to me before she died, he added. Before we carry on, do be sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the video. Also, don't forget to press that bell icon so you don't miss any more of our upcoming content. Now let's get back to what we were talking about. Number 2. The Book Kim Was Planning On Publishing Another point that surfaced around all the theories revolving around Kim's death was the book she was planning to release. You see, the book was intended to be sort of a tell-all about all her relationships with high-profile people in the music industry. Now it isn't hard to see how this would be problematic for a lot of powerful people. Some people suggest that this was the reason Kim was taken out. On the flip side, Lisa Pope, who was Kim's hairstylist, claims that Kim wasn't thinking about writing a book at all. Even if she was, it wouldn't at all be about exposing famous men in Hollywood but would rather be about how to raise well-mannered kids in Hollywood. I can attest to the amazingly well-mannered children she raised, Lisa wrote approximately one week after Kim's death. Our strongest bond was our role as parents. Number 1. So what happened between Al B and Kim Porter? For those of you wondering just what happened between Al B and Kim, then well, it's unknown why the two broke up in the 90s and also why Al B agreed to let Diddy adopt his and Kim's biological son Quincy. Kim did confirm that she was inspired by the iconic single titled Forever My Lady, which was co-written by Al B, so she didn't really split on that term from the looks of it. I remember they were working on the song and they couldn't come up with the lyrics and Al looked at me and he was like, so you're having my baby? Kim said on an episode of TV One's Unsung in 2015 and I was like, oh, which of course goes on to suggest 
that they were still friendly up until her mysterious death. With this, we've come to the end of our video. Here was a look into Kim Porter's ex-boyfriend, Al B, exposing Sean Diddy Combs.